real quick, yep. I did want to mention the new Nemesis series that's coming out. I don't know if you ever read Nemesis or not. Um, but there is a new Nemesis series dropping on the 19th, so in like seven days, it's going to come out in like a week. Nemesis, what's that? Um, it's basically Mark Miller's version of Batman. Um, oh, is only, that the one where the dude's dressed in all white? Yeah, uh, only he's like the villain, and it's really not good. It started out great. It really did start out, like, super awesome, and I was really excited to see what was going on with it. Um, I'm very happy that I've hired him, because I was just really mad about Dave for, like, all the six or seven issues, because after, like, issue two, it started getting really bad. Um... But with the way that the first Nemesis series ended, I don't know how they're going to continue it because I, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's it's really like there's not a way for them to continue with Nemesis at the very least. If they want to continue in the world, it would have to be a different character. But like even somebody picking up the Nemesis mantle, that wouldn't really work with how Nemesis ended. So, but uh, I'm interested to see what happens. Um, so, did like the the main character do something horrible? <laughs> um. Oh, the main character did plenty of horrible. Th- well, if if you count them as the main character, he did plenty of horrible things. He like the biggest villain. I don't. I think like even if you count characters like Doctor Doom or Thanos, um, Nemesis is still the character with the most Black Air Force energy that I've ever read in my entire life. <laughs> um, but, like I'm not kidding. He do you care if I spoil it? I mean, the, I don't really plan on reading it. Um, spoiler alert. Okay. Okay, so spoiler alert for everybody. So basically, Nemesis, he, he chooses, he's like this really famous cop killer. He's been killing like all these cops in China for like over a decade. And nobody's been able to catch him. The series starts, it literally opens with Nemesis like portraying this one cop like on these subway tracks. And then the train comes, kills the cop, and the Nemesis blows up the tracks so, like, it flies out into the air and, like, destroys, like, half of the city. And then he's like, oh, you gotta love all this death and destruction, blah, 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 blah. And he starts out really, really, really charismatic. Like, he's a really cool character in the first two issues. He's really charismatic and stuff. And then he sends out this, uh, like, glo- like verbal global warning to this one cop in America who's, like, the ultimate super cop like, think of, like, Captain America was, like, an actual, like, street cop. He's, like, the ultimate super cop or whatever. And he sends, like, this threat out to him. And he's, like, a week away from retiring. He sends a letter, or, like, a threat out to him publicly. Like, I'm going to kill you at this exact time on this exact day. So be ready. And then it's, like, a game of, like, cat and mouse between them. But when the series ends, it's revealed that Nemesis is so powerful to do all the things that he can do with, like, no superpowers. He has all the money, all the gadgets and everything because a company... Basically, think of, like, Vought, sort of, but it's not Vought because Nemesis has no superpowers. But, um, like, they fund, like, one really rich person every, like, hundred or so years to be, like, the ultimate villain. And, like, the person's, like, terminally ill or whatever. And, um, he promises, like, the guy who wrote the letter promises that Nemesis is never going to be a thing again. And that, uh, because the guy, the main character of the all of Nemesis stuff, that, uh, Nemesis isn't going to be a thing anymore. The company's not going to do Nemesis. The next film will be somebody completely different, and it won't happen for like another hundred years because they only do it like every hundred years. So for Nemesis to be a thing again, after the company promised that they wouldn't do Nemesis ever again, and it's very clear that nobody can have the power and influence that someone like Nemesis had without being backed by that company. So it's just I don't know. I'm not sure how it's going to work. You know, well, to, like, well, the story is just going to. Gonna gonna be him it's gonna be like when batman loses his company or like when green arrow sells his company he has to be like grassroots the villain the problem with it i don't i mean like i can see that happening but there's no way he can be nemesis doing that like the stuff that nemesis does he has like the power and influence of basically like almost an entire government on his side because of how much money and how much influence the company gave him. I mean, yeah, that's the but conflict. The conflict is that he has to find a new way to be Nemesis. He has to do it differently. He can't do it the exact same way. It, it'll be interesting to see. It will be interesting to see. If that is the conflict, I guess I can get behind it. It'll be interesting to see. I'm planning on pirating the first issue. If I like the first issue, we do not I'll buy it, it and I'll probably just keep doing that. But 
I'm I'm real skeptical about how it's gonna be because the series itself was very it went extremely downhill after the second issue. We do but not, um we do not endorse pirating. Please that, please buy Nemesis from official sources. That that was pretty much my uh, my thing about Nemesis. I just wanted to talk about Nemesis because it was an interesting series. I didn't know if you would read it or not. 